Welcome back to my channel. I would like to warn you before you start the video, some image and information in the video content that you will be watching may bother you. The content of this video has been prepared based on real information and people under the age of 18 are not recommended to watch this. We know how to make natural fertilizers from many products, like from foods, drinks, to animal and warm faces in the soil. This time, fertilizer production is the production of fertilizer enriched in agriculture from human corpus, which is unorthodox, which is not accepted in many countries. In America, Washington is facing the fact that burial sites form large areas, bodies rotulate or doesn't mix into the ground due to different climate conditions. When it was signed in May 2019 and entered into force in May 2020, Washington became the first state to allow for the method of human fertilization. In this method, the bodies of the deceased turned into fertilizer. The human fertilization method is being proposed as more environmentally friendly than the incineration method which is often used especially in the United States society. Proponents of the method say that in this way, regions that have problems with the burial place will also have an environmentally friendly solution. The soil obtained at the end of the procedure will be delivered to the relatives of deceased person and this soil can be used to grow plants. Already countless farms around the country, including at least a third of Washington State's dairy farms, are composting the bodies of dead animals. In some states, transportation departments, instead of disposing animals that have died in road accidents, they are composting them. The process is surprisingly simple. They place nitrogen-rich material, such as dead animals, inside a pile of carbon-rich material, such as wood chips and sawdust. They add moisture or extra nitrogen and make other adjustments as needed. The pile of microbial activity is beginning to cook. Bacteria releases enzymes that break down tissues into component parts, such as amino acids and eventually nitrogen-rich molecules bind with carbon-rich ones, forming a soil-like substances. Temperatures often reach 140 degrees and the heat kills common photogens. When done correctly, it blocks the smell. Although the bones take longer than the tissue, they still become composed. Mississippate has designed a building for human fertilization, which aims to combine the efficiency of this biological process with the ritual and symbolism desired by the mourners. Each facility is assembled around a three-story vault which he calls the core. They carry their disease wrapped in a shroud up a circular ramp. There, during a bedtime ceremony, the mourners place the corpse inside the core which can hold maybe 30 corpses at a time. Over the next few weeks, each body is lowered down from the core until the first stage of composting is completed. At the second stage, the compost is prepared by screening the materials together with the remaining bones. After a while, the relatives of the deceased can collect some of the compost to use as they see fit, like planting trees in memory of the deceased person and either use it as a fertilizer in the garden.
Each person estimates that it will cost about $2,500 to fertilize, which is more affordable than traditional funerals. If you heard that 50 years ago, their funeral was burned at 2000 degrees and their skeleton was crushed in a machine and the crushed bone was returned to the relatives of the deceased, which is still getting a reaction in most countries. You would have thought that such a thing could not happen, but nowadays there are a lot of communities that carry out this burning and it is considered normal. In the coming years, probably the production of fertilizer enriched from the human body will also be considered quite normal. We have come to end of this video. If you liked the video, don't forget to click the like and please subscribe to my channel and activate the bell to watch my next videos.